we've been up for a little bit. Well, we have been on the road, and I'm gonna figure that the road has been kind of boring up until this point. But we're headed across, we're almost to Tallahassee to the state capital, and it is gorgeous through here. It's rolling hills. The whole thing about Florida being rolling hills, but also deer, a lot of deer, uh, deer crossing. So we're headed down right now. I'm just gonna show you. So it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna keep on rocking and rolling down the road. Got a full tank of gas. And um, yeah, so come on a ride with us. camera work from the lovely Dakota <laughs> and we are in beautiful West Palm Beach Florida and we are going to be working on this this is a 1974 27 foot Airstream and we're going to be polishing out and it is going to be even more beautiful than what it already is we're going to add some color to it it's going to be polished and um, it's going to turn out great so Gonna take a little bit of work, uh, but we should be able to get through this um, pretty easy. So let's get straight into it, and here we go. I mean, walking around. Look, somebody sprayed uh, acid on it. Where? On the back, back here. See how it's all white? You see all that stuff that's running? Unbelievable that someone would do that. So on here we have. If you notice any corrosion or any pitting, we have to throw a little bit of corrosion here, a little bit here. A lot of pitting here. We got a dent right there. A little bit here, dent here. Up top, down here. Looks like some, I guess it's, what, what do you think that is? Rocks? Rocks. Yeah. That's in here, kind of like the mat, like you can kind of see. It looks like somebody tried to sand it right here. That's sand marks. From sanding um we're not sanding we do not sand anything uh everybody so it is around three o'clock and uh they're going to be closing up this area here that we're at right now uh at 4 30 but i just want to let y'all see this but before that i want to tell y'all something this is real life and you want a day in a life well this is a day in life so truck today um it's great condition otherwise runs great um had an issue with the key and also with the uh, starter, or not so much the starter, but with the anti-theft system. So it's a big problem with uh, Fords, Mazdas, and whatever kind of new vehicle that you have, anything from like, from what we found out today, anywhere from a 2011 forward. So something that you wanna be careful of is, uh, what we're gonna find out what the real diagnosis is, but it could be anything from an electrical switch to your transponder housing. So if your vehicle is started, and you can't get it out of gear, but you could bypass it. Or if it's running and it just shuts off, but mechanically it's throwing no codes, well, guess what? It could be something to do with the anti-theft system. So this is real life. So we're dealing with that today. And um, kind of slowed down the process a little bit, but as you can see, it is gorgeous. And get all the way to the back back here and You can see like it is just pretty so it's gorgeous and you can see it's a reflection would already be done with this entire section on this side <laughs> if it would not have kind of it up but yeah you can see the hood open and stuff we, we were trying to figure out if it was that no no it's not that so hopefully it'll just be a easy fix but god is good he's in control so always remember that and if you have a small business just realize when you see people on YouTube and they make everything out to be just, what would you say, Dakota, is perfectly? Perfect. Just everything perfect. works out great. Everything just works out great. No, it doesn't. This is real life. Stuff happens. And you got to keep on rolling. So, um, luckily, the way things have worked out, there's a mechanic literally right next door to where we're at, so, which is awesome. So, but anyway, this job right here is turning out awesome. I'm going to show you a little bit more tomorrow. A little bit of a time lapse of working tomorrow, but you can see where it definitely stopped from before in the and after. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get cleaned up. 
aside from this, we need to get some stuff picked up. We have a Uber coming to pick us up, but we're going to be right back here in the morning to continue on this airstream. So, hope you enjoy. Let's keep going. So, we're in here and look at this. The Wawa. And look at this. It's not going to get any. But look at some of this beer. They got look different the stuff. Check out the monster. How many of y'all have seen that before? Got a lot of cool shit out here. Yeah. So, that's some different stuff. Wicked Weed Brewing. Wicked Weed Brewing. Has anyone seen that before? That's dope, y'all. Check this out, y'all. Lipton Hard Ice Tea. Brand spanking new. Arizona Tea. Look at this. They even have Modelo. How many people have seen this? So, this is Wawa. So, we're gonna get dinner. We're gonna come over. <laughs> yeah, they got loaded fries. Look at that. They got more here. Oh my god. I think they got more here. I don't know if I get time for this. What are the bowls? Out here at the Airstream. Just got it to where the sun is just now coming up. So, got the truck over at the shop. And, um, about to get up here do that section and then walk around to the other side so it's gonna take a little bit but I'm get up here you're rocking and rolling this morning This is called the square. Why do we have it called the square? We have no idea, but. Thank you. 
Where's this thing? So. All right, everybody. So this is where the Rothschilds, J.P. Morgan, and a bunch of other folks are at, and we are going in. This morning and um, hopefully this will be the last day working on this we shall see all right everybody so I'm gonna talk to y'all just for a minute because since the processes are protected and we do have a trademark on everything all right everybody in the back of this Airstream and I'm gonna show you all some stuff now what you're wondering is is that these two sides right here have already been polished and I'm gonna be doing this section that's right up behind me up here I'm gonna be taking care of it now what you're wondering is is like Probably what would a lot of you are wondering is what's being used. Well, I can tell you that it's proprietary. Everything is proprietary, so we have a lot of trade secrets. But I will give you a few tips. So one of them when it comes to polishing the Airstream is understanding what you're working with. Airstreams, um, every different piece of metal has a different metallurgy. And different casts, different thicknesses, different gauges. And the metallurgy means that it's a different mix of materials that make up the metal itself. Okay, so depending on what that is, dictates the approach that needs to be taken, along with temperature and humidity and a lot of other stuff. So, and also the desired finish. And um, a lot of different factors. For instance, like this is a 1974 Airstream. Plus, like with this, with this Airstream, it's clad. It's not actually solid metal as far as like what you think so it's clad meaning that it has a um a metal exterior i guess you want to say if i can break this down in layman's terms it has a material of clad metal on top of metal so it's very very thin so you have to be careful on what you're using on on uh, these so if you own one or looking at polishing one as a hobbyist or what have you realize that utmost and foremost so there's a lot of stuff that goes into this that's the reason it's not really a do-it-yourself project our business has not endorsed or has uh, signed on to uh, a, a deal with any product manufacturer so we don't have to um, basically ride the coattails and um, ride them you know regardless that they're bad good whatever so gonna be honest there is no one-size-fits-all product that's a lie and um, you have to keep that in mind. Just wanted to let y'all see that. So I'm gonna go into a time lapse now and I'm gonna go ahead and do this lower portion where it has air stream. And you can see where someone had actually screwed up and sprayed chemicals on here. And chemicals that supposedly are good on wheels and stuff like that. And you can see what it did. It messed it up pretty bad. So you gotta know what you're doing. So not trying to discourage anybody, but at the same rate, have to be realistic. So, got to pick up some stuff, get ready to go um, back to the hotel, I'm gonna go check out some more places tonight, and then from there, get some rest, be up super early in the morning, 
to be here and then from there we'll head on out this is a Publix everybody two-story two Publix with a parking garage you think they have to do that for the hurricane I don't Good morning everybody so today is Thursday and um, basically what I'm doing now is going over all those black residue that you see I was left over from the polishing process working on getting that stuff off so This right here, watch just like so. Just wrapped up with this airstream, and as you can see, turned out absolutely amazing. Turned out absolutely beautiful, got all the residue off. This is beautiful. Went over it with some finishing steps. Let me go ahead and stop right here. Let me take it slow. That way you can take it all in. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And it's a beautiful day. Cannot beat it. See the reflection of the truck in here. Like I said, it's beautiful. So, anyway, let's go. Okay, everybody, so we are at Little Havana, and evidently, they got the best Cuban food. They've been in business for like 28 years. So, I'm about to come up here and order some. So, just one sec, y'all. We got empanadas, and then we have fried mashed potatoes and gravy with beef in a ball and then we got a Cuban sandwich and then we got this look at that that is chicken with real yellow rice all right y'all all right so this is the Cuban sandwich looks amazing amazing the inside of that mashed potatoes and beef, fried mashed potatoes and beef, I, I, it doesn't make any sense, y'all, but it is amazing. Oh, yeah. And the chicken is so tender.